is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release crochet tutorials and free patterns. And today I'm bringing to you this beautiful um, hexagon cardigan. It's oversized and it's really, really feminine. I love it. It features a shell stitch border on the opening, as you can see, and two different colours. As always, the free pattern is available on my blog, selinaveronique.com. The link will be in the down bar. And for this pattern, you can find sizes from S to triple XL. So don't forget to head over there to check out your size. And so um, for this pattern I used Lion brand jeans yarn so for size S which is what I will be demonstrating in this video I used four skeins of this yarn however if you are making a different size don't worry just follow along the video but just make sure that you follow along my free pattern um, as you go just so that you um, can switch up the number of rounds and so on for your size so don't worry about that and so I use this yarn it's so pretty this is color faded and it's a hundred percent acrylic and it's so soft and beautiful and I love it for the um, cream edging I used one skein of paint box um, simply Aran yarn. I will be linking all of the materials and supplies in the description box so um, just check that out also. So I used this yarn and this is also an Aran weight yarn so yes I forgot to say these are Aran weight yarns so that's also called a medium four yarn. For this project, I also used a 6mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. I will be using US terms with British terms in brackets. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps out my channel. And don't forget to check out my Patreon page um, for more feminine crochet content. The link will be in the down bar a slip knot. Once you've created your slip knot just pop your hook through and chain five. One, two, three, four and five. And once you've chained five you are going to be slip stitching in the first chain to close your ring. So just go ahead and do that. And now you are going to be chaining three. So one, two and three. And this counts as your first double crochet. And what we are going to be doing is placing two more double crochets into this center right here. So so just wrap your yarn around your hook, go into um, the center, pull up a loop, you've got three loops on your hook, pull through two loops and pull through two loops. And now you are going to go back into this center and place another double crochet into that and there we go. And I'm um, tidying up my loose end as I go along. And what you can see is that we now have three double crochets because this first double crochet counts as a, um, this chain three, sorry, counts as our first double crochet. What we are going to be doing now is chaining three. So one, two and three. And we are going to be going back into this center and placing three more double crochets into that. So um, go on and place three double crochets into um, the center. One, two, and three. And we have another cluster of double crochets. We are simply going to be chaining three, one, 
two and three and placing another cluster of three double crochets into this center so just go ahead and do that and we are going to be repeating um, this process of um, three double crochets chain three until we have um, six clusters of double crochets total so just scrunch up these um, double crochets like so and now we've got three clusters one two three and you are simply going to be chaining three again and placing another cluster of three double crochets another three times and once we finished um, the six clusters I'll get back to you to show you what to do so just so I'm back and I finished my cluster of uh, my six clusters so one two three four five and six and they have got three chains to separate them I've just created a chain three right here um, to finish off this round so that's what you should be doing finishing off on a chain three and now we are going to be connecting to um, the chain three that we started with so just slip stitch so pop your hook through and pull through and pull through and there we go we've got um, the beginning of our hexagonal um, round so now I'm just going to show you round two so for round two you are going to chain three one two and three turn your work and obviously this counts as our first um, double crochet and we are going to go directly into this space right here and place two more double crochets so just go ahead and place two double crochets and another like so and because this is our corner so this will become a lot clearer as we carry on with the rounds but for now this is our corner and it will be our corner throughout so when you are in a corner like now chain three one two and three and go back into that space and place another cluster of three double crochets so just go ahead and place another cluster of three double crochets like so and what we are going to be doing is um, going into the next um, chain space here but before we do that we are going to be so we are going to be chaining one so chain one and go directly into the next corner so again this is going to make a lot more sense as we go along but just note that we will always have six corners um, within this project so this is another corner so directly go into that and place three double crochets oops so three double crochets, chain three, one, two and three and another cluster inside that same space. Just go ahead and place another three double crochets. As you can see this is a very repetitive pattern so there we go our hexagon is um, growing and what we are going to be doing now is the exact same that I've just showed you so just chain one and go directly into the next space and place three double crochets chain three one two and three and three double crochets and just do this until um, you reach the beginning of this round that we started so I'm just going to finish this cluster chain one 
and then go into the next, so then go into the next three um, spaces, so one, two and three, and repeat this process and I'll meet you back here to show you how to finish off this round. So I've almost finished this round and what I am going to be doing to close off this round is chain one, so just go ahead and chain one and slip stitch to that first chain like so and there we go um, our second round is complete and now you can see that we not only have corners like this one or that one we also have spaces in between the corners so this is how um, these spaces are gonna there are going to be more and more of those spaces as the project grows so now just chain three one two and three turn your work and because this is a center um, space and not a corner we are simply going to be adding just two double crochets so we're just going to add two extra double crochets into this space and that creates um, our cluster of three and now we are going to be chaining one and here we go we um, we are have reached a corner once again so again every time you reach a corner you are going to be placing three double crochets chain three one two and three and place another three double crochets into the space one two and three and um, chain one so chain one and go into the next space and place three double crochets into that so one two and three okay so we've placed a um, cluster of three and we are going to be chaining one and going directly into the next corner and placing um, three double crochets chain three one two and three and another three double crochets in that space so one two and three chain one go into the center space and place just one cluster of three double crochets so one two and three chain one and now we've reached a corner so I'm just going to let you carry this on so every time you reach a corner place a cluster of three chain three and a cluster of three double crochets chain one go into the center with just three double crochets chain one and in the corner and repeat and I'll show you how to finish off this round so I've just finished um, this round practically and I've just finished this corner so I'm just going to chain one like so and then slip stitch to the first chain three that we did so just go ahead and slip stitch through uh, that and there we go we finished our round so as you can see it really is taking the shape that we want it to take so now we are going to chain three, one, two, three, turn your work and this is going to be um, one of our center um, spaces as you can see we are going to be getting more and more center spaces like I call them so here's one and here's one so we're just going to work into that one for now and just place two more double crochets into um, this space like so 
and now chain one and go into um, the next um, stitch and this is our corner so again for each corner it's going to be the exact same thing so um, three double crochets and chain three one two and three and three double crochets into that same center chain one and now we are going to be working in um, this stitch where we will be placing just one cluster of three double crochets into that chain one <clears throat> and place another cluster of three double crochets two and three so these are again our center spaces as I call them chain one and now we've reached a corner so again we're just going to be placing three double crochets into that two and three and chain three one two three and go back into that space and place three double crochets into that chain one and place a cluster of three double crochets into the next stitch like this and the third chain one so I'm just gonna let you carry this on so in the next um, space it will be simply a cluster of three double crochets in that then chain one three double crochets in that corner chain three three double crochets chain one go into um, the next space chain one uh, three double crochets chain one three double crochets chain one and then the corner again and so on and I'm just going to let you carry this on when you reach um, the beginning of this round you will be of course chaining one and slip stitching to the first chain three that we did okay so Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video on my phone to show you. So this is how I've placed my um, cardigan, my two hexagons. And now what we will be doing is sewing from this side all the way across up to the other side. And then once we've done that, and obviously I'll show you in more details in a minute, we'll be sewing... Um, this center part like so okay so i've just placed my project now on the table and obviously because the table is um too small i can't show you the whole project like i've just showed you but i am going to show you how to sew this in so i've attached a um, piece of yarn to my I've popped that on my tapestry needle as you can see and you can attach this yarn on this corner like me and what we are going to be doing is just sewing the project across like I just showed you um, in this video so um, make sure that your project is nice and symmetrical you can use sewing pins if you need them and I'm just going to be sewing this in using the mattress stitch um, obviously you can use whichever sewing stitch you prefer but I will be using the mattress stitch 
and like I showed you I'm going to sew this straight across and then once I've done that I will be sewing the center seam so I'll let you do that assemble your cardigan and then I'll get back to you so I'm back and as you can see I finished all my stitching and what I'm going to show you now is the front opening so I'm going to start um, crocheting the border edging on the front opening so we will be starting here going all the way up and then back down again and to do this we are still using the six millimeter crochet hook we are using the Aran cream yarn and just attach this yarn at this angle at the very bottom and now that you've done that we are going to be going around with a single crochet row so I'm just gonna um, so I'm just going to zoom in a teeny bit and switch this project around just so that you can see better so this is what I have and now I'm going to chain one and this does um, not count as a stitch and just go back into this space with a single crochet so two single crochet just place your hook directly through the space pull up a loop you have two loops on your hook take your yarn and pull through two loops and now go into the next stitch with a single crochet and into the next stitch with a single crochet and into the next stitch with a single crochet and just go all the way around with a single crochet um, I'll show you what to do um, when we reach the very top of the cardigan. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone all the way up that first side and I've reached the top where we seamed. So I'm just going to pop my um, stitch here. I am going to be popping a stitch in the very center seam and again in the next stitch like so and now I'm simply going to be repeating the same process of placing a single crochet all across the other side of this um, front opening okay so I finished my row of single crochets and now we are going to be placing a row of double crochets directly on top so to begin chain three one two and three now you are going to be placing your next double crochet into the next um, single crochet from the previous row so just go ahead and do that place your single crochets into each and every stitch across and I'll get back to you Okay, so as you can see, I've gone all the way around with my double crocheted row. I apologize if um, it's hard to see on camera. Obviously with this project being so large, it's hard to um, film the whole project on camera if this makes sense. But if you need more help, just head over to the blog where I have lots of photos. So this is the double crocheted edging. And now what we are going to be doing is chaining one, two and three. And this counts as our first double crochet once again. And this is the shell stitch edging. Okay, and now what we are going to be doing is placing two double crochets within the same first stitch so as to create a half shell because we are not going to be creating a full shell um, because this is the very edge of the project. So we've placed, so this first chain three counts as our first double crochet and then we've had added two. 
we are going to skip one and two stitches from the previous row and place a single crochet into the next stitch. So this is what we have and now we are going to be skipping one and two and going into the next with five double crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. Um, and this creates our first full shell. You are going to be skipping one and two um, stitches and going into the next with a single crochet. Now what you are going to be doing is skipping two stitches and going into the next with five double crochets. So one, two, three, four and five. So five and skipping two stitches and going into the next with a single crochet and just carry on with this pattern until you reach the end of the row. So just go across both sides and all across this edging and once you um, get to about five stitches from the end I'll show you what to do. Okay, so I've almost finished my um, my row and as you can see, I've just placed a single crochet. I have a shell stitch here, then a single crochet. I'm going to skip one and two um, stitches and go into the chain three, which is also a stitch and my last stitch. And I'm going to be placing a half shell. So just go ahead and place three double crochets into this last stitch. So I will be writing on my free pattern the number of um, single crochets and double crochets I had just so that you can get the pattern right. And so now what I've my yarn here, I don't have enough yarn but don't fasten off. I um, I just don't have enough yarn for this part which is I'm now going to show you how to single crochet across the bottom of this project. So um, don't fasten off, like I said, I need to attach my yarn simply because I don't have enough yarn to do this. So there we go. Once you've done that, what you will be doing is chain one and this white part here is um, what I call the wrong side of the stitches so just go ahead and just place a single crochet across this edge um, as evenly as you possibly can because you won't have a stitch into which you can um, single crochet and now you've reached the blue part just go ahead and place a single crochet into each and every stitch um, across including the chain one and like I say for single crochet edgings just make sure that you don't um, tighten your stitches because single crochet borders sometimes tend to um, tighten the project if that makes sense so just make sure that you place all of your single crochets and that you don't tighten them and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. Okay so I finished the bottom edging as you can see. I'm just going to snip off my yarn and tie a knot um, like so and that's it. Okay so now I'm going to show you the sleeves. So for the sleeves just pop your attach your yarn we are going to be using the six millimeter crochet hook just attach your yarn onto the sleeve and now you are going to pop your hook through chain one and this um, does count as a single crochet and now what we are going to be doing is placing a single crochet into every second stitch. So skip the next stitch which is the chain from um, the pattern 
and go into the next stitch with a single crochet so to do your single crochet just pop your hook through pull up a loop and go through two loops now skip the next stitch and go into the next with a single crochet now skip the next stitch and go into the next with a single crochet now skip the next stitch and go into the next with a single crochet and just carry on doing this all the way across around and then I'll get back to you so um, I've almost finished this round and so now to finish off this round I'm simply going to be going through the first um, chain that we did and as you can see it has considerably um, made this um, sleeve smaller so now for the next row you are going to be chaining three one two and three and this counts as your first double crochet with the first stitch and now you are simply going to be placing double crochets all across um, the next round and so I'm just going to let you do that once you finish um, this round so once you've gone all the way around you need to slip stitch as always to the top of um, this chain three that we just did and then just repeat a double crochet round three times and that means we will have four double crochet rounds in total for the sleeve okay so I finished my four rows as you can see so now to finish this off I'm just going to slip stitch through that chain the first chain three and snip off my yarn and that's it my cardigans finished I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, um, I really enjoyed making this pattern, um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.